What is up guys? Welcome back to Pokemon News Daily for Friday, January 3rd, 2020. Yes, we are here in 2020. And I'm bringing Pokemon News Daily back. I'm your host, Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where we go over all the Pokemon news for the day, from official news to the leaks to the rumors, spamming across all medias of Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to be kept in the loop with the latest news on Pokemon, then make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on so you will not miss a video and if you like today's video be sure to leave a like down below it does help me out a lot pushing the video into recommended also be sure to leave a comment as well as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on all of my videos so it could be like an open conversation with you guys so let me know your thoughts on today's topics but without no further ado let's jump right into the news the first news article is coming from the official Pokemon website like a lot of these articles today I'm gonna have them linked in the description below just in case you want to check it out first one is for the Pokemon Sword and Shield January season which starts today it says clash with Gigantamax Pokemon for great prizes and ranked battles January season Gigantamax Pikachu Gigantamax Snorlax and more powerful Pokemon are ready to join the action in the next ranked battle season the second season of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield ranked battles have begun send out your best team of Pokemon from the Galar region to compete with trainers around the world in the second season a handful of Gigantamax Pokemon will be allowed to head into battle for the first time Charizard Butterfree Pikachu Meowth Eevee Snorlax Corviknight Dreadnought Seneconda Sentusco I, I'm, I'm sorry I, I had to wrap that but <laughs> will be allowed to Gigantamax in battle you'll be mad up with other players of similar rank to ensure even competition and the higher you finish when the season conclude the greater in game rewards you will earn prizes include battle points ability capsules mint and even valuable bottle caps including golden bottle caps for top performers try to reach the master ball tier by the end of the month to earn the best rewards we've seen this again with season one or with the first season since the game came out what's new is that they adding the use of Gigantamax Pokemon at least the select few of Gigantamax Pokemon that we can use now in ranked battle it says to start ranked battle select the verses in the X menu then choose battle stadium then choose ranked battles you can press the Y button to see what's the current rules and regulations before you join and begin your match there are both single battles and double battles for you to participate in Ranked Battles January season will run through the month of January 2020. Have fun battling and check back later for more Ranked Battle season news. Again, I think this is pretty cool that they're finally giving us the option of using Gigantamax Pokemon, which is a huge feature inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield, no pun intended, inside of Ranked Battle. So now we can bring Gigantamax, Charizard, or Butterfree, and design teams around them. Again, I think this is going to be pretty cool. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with in the community or what kind of teams I'm gonna actually try to build as you guys know I'm a casual so I'm not gonna go super hard but I am gonna try to at least hit the master ball tier just so I can get the best rewards at the end of the month I missed out on the first season participating because I was moving into the new studio and stuff but now that we got the new year rolling I'm definitely gonna be diving more into competitive Pokemon now jumping into the second news story, also coming from Pokemon.com, the Pokemon Championship Regionals. It says the 2020 Play Pokemon Regional Championship streaming Pokemon, the trading card game and video game events. It says tune in and watch tournament matches from select Pokemon Regional Championships, including the first featuring Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, which is going to be pretty hype to see Pokemon Sword and Shield played at the top level during the Pokemon Championship. I'm pretty excited for this to see this and I will be covering it here. So again, 
hit that subscribe button if you want to see my thoughts of the regional championship and everything going on inside of the Pokemon series. It says the 2020 Pokemon Championship Series is shaping up to be one of the most exciting yet, and the rest of the season will be unforgettable. Matches from the select regional championship are streamed live so you can watch their action from home and get some ideas for your next Pokemon battle. Or you can compete yourself possibly earning a chance to show off your skills in front of the Pokemon fans from all over the world. As always, each match will feature expert commentary from our team of broadcasters to help you enjoy the action. They have the time and dates of all of the regional stuff from January all the way to June. I'm gonna have, again, a link to this article so you guys could plan accordingly. Again, I, I already put this in my calendar so I can make sure that I'm covering these with Pokemon News Daily. So again, you're gonna be hearing a lot about Pokemon Regional Championship stuff in Pokemon News Daily. I kinda wanna integrate it in because again, it is part of Pokemon World and I'm kinda excited to cover it as well, moving into the 2020 year. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of the Pokemon World Championship and the regional stuff that's gonna be going on. It's gonna be pretty dope. Trainers are gonna be competing for up to 50,000 in prizes, scholarships, gift cards at each event, and as well as championship points that will go towards qualifying for the, the 2020 Pokemon World Championship. Again, it's gonna be pretty dope. I am excited. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of the whole Pokemon Championship regional events. Now, moving into the next news story. This is actually coming from Twitter from a Twitter user named Philly Beats You. You probably know him on Twitter. He posted this little chart that is like, it's so perfect right now inside of the Pokemon Sword and Shield game. There's a ton of mystery gift codes and stuff that you can redeem in the game. And here is a list of the codes and what you can get from the codes and when they expire. Do note that most of these codes are expiring, well, a few of them anyway, are expiring on January 15th. You only have a couple more days to grab these. I recommend you doing it right away. You get a ton of apricot balls that I would say grab. You got a present that gives you 10 luxury balls that you can grab. You have two codes that's giving you 20 paddle points that you can grab. And then you got a code also giving you 10 dive balls. Again, I'm going to have a link to Philly Beats 2 Twitter page with this post so you can see it, check it out, drop them a follow, and make sure you redeem these codes. Again, these codes are region free. It doesn't matter where are you in the world, you can redeem them. Make sure you do not miss out. Out. Moving off of the Pokemon Sword and Shield news, moving into Pokemon Masters. This tweet was sent out by the official Pokemon Master Twitter account. It says five star select special scouts is now live. After using the sync pair scout 10 times, you can select any one of the feature five star sync pairs and add them to your team. This can only be used once through its duration see the in-game announcement for more details. I currently still play Pokemon Masters every day. That's probably my little coffee game every time I'm making coffee in the morning, making orange juice. I throw on Pokemon Masters. I do a, a couple pulls or whatever. I jump in, I jump out. I completed the story just recently as well as the new Sokaleo event. And then this popped up where you can use 3,000 paid coins, which kind of suck because I have a ton of free coins that I would personally would love to use to guarantee a five star sync pair, but you have to use your paid coins to get this special feature where you get to select one of the five stars sync pairs to join your team. I believe 3,000 gems is like 20 dollars so that's like thirty dollars to do this pool to me i think pokemon masters the worst thing that's going for it right now is is pay to win system i i get it it's a gotcha game it's a very expensive gotcha game to go on top of it which to me feels very scummy especially for the fact that if i'm gonna pay 23 dollars don't just give me 10 scouts and then one i get to pick i want a little bit more bang for your buck however this is something if you got it and you want to use it by all means let me know your thoughts on this 
in the comment section below. Again, it's one of the things that while I do like Pokemon Masters and having a Pokemon game like this kind that focuses on battling inside of my far smartphone, I don't like the way it's going about putting a price value on some of the stuff. So again, I can be alone on this. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below. Now that's going to be it guys for Pokemon News Daily. Let me know your thoughts on the show in the comment section below. Everything that we went over today from Pokemon Masters new five star special scout pair that you can actually pick up from all the Pokemon Sword and Shield mystery gift codes that you pick all of them up reminding you again that they are going to end January 15th and January 30th and then one is oddly ending by itself on February 28th. Also, let me know your thoughts on the Pokemon Regional Championship that's going to be going on. Are you going to be checking it out? And of course, the Ranked Battle January season starts today. Let me know if you're going to be participating and what teams you are actually going to be bringing in to this January season. Give some tips to a noob like me. Let me know your thoughts again on everything that we went over today in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments, so let's meet down there if you enjoyed today's video please leave a like it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can check out the video if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video hit the bell so you can be notified on the next time a video drops which should be monday i'm gonna skip the weekend as far as making pokemon news dailies go but you might see something else on the channel over the weekend and that's gonna be it peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next pokemon news daily like always guys i'm daddy i'm a fred on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one one.